Strengths of the airplane is, you know, a lot of people look at thrust to weight ratios. One of the things that makes the airplane look challenged on thrust to weight is we say, well, look at that. You know, the F-16, clean F-16's got you know, only 27,000 pounds of weight. Right. Got a 29,000 pound thrust engine. Okay. This guy, when he's full internal, is probably 48,000 pounds with a 41,000 pound thrust engine. <laughs> See? Well, now let's back off a bit. Guy carries two and a half times the internal fuel. He's completely configured that from a drag point of view, you put a missiles on him, he's no different. You start putting missiles on airplanes, it is dazzling the effect they have. Even AMRAMs have a pretty big effect. And so all of a sudden, you, you see you're kind, of, you're kind of comparing cats and dogs. One's in a combat configuration, one's not. One's in a configuration to go out 800 miles on an air-to-air -air kind of mission, or six or 700 miles. Another one's prepared to go 200 miles. And, and so it's really kind of nonsense. Drop it down and say, all right, airfield defense, what are you going to load it with? No, we just to take off, we'll put in 8,000 pounds of fuel. And all of a sudden, the, you know, we're a 38,000 pound airplane with 41,000 pounds of thrust. You know, we can play that game. But again, we weren't asked to build an air show airplane, we are asked to build a combat airplane. And the, and the challenge you have, and the Raptor has it too, is when you build the internal weapons base, you, you get out of the air show mode. It's really a combat airplane. And so, like I said earlier, sometimes what you get with the guys is they say, oh, God, that's not much better than a clean airplane. And, and eventually they clogs into them, wait a minute, I don't have to do anything new for that.